Mr. Povey has been told that Jacob is still having difficulty concentrating in lessons. Where shall I sit? Have a seat. Have Over a seat. here, Jacob. How do you actually feel when someone goes, Jacob, you've got dyslexia? How did that make you feel? I'm different to everyone else. I don't okay. like it. OK, I'm going to tell you something now. And in 20 years of teaching, I have never told anyone this. I've got dyslexia. Have you? Wow, I didn't, didn't expect that. Why would you not expect it? I don't look like someone who had like, dyslexia. What does someone with dyslexia look like? No, like, you're like a teacher and everything, and like, I didn't know you could get to that stage if you had dyslexia, so. Why not? I don't know. Because it would be hard, like, harder and all that. It's been hard. But let me tell you now, dyslexia is the best thing that ever happened to me. Why? Because it makes my mind work in a different way. OK, I might be a bit slower at reading something. And OK, it might take me a bit longer to write something. That's the case for me, Jacob. And I do struggle with that. But I can read and I can write and you can read and you can write. It just might take you a bit longer. So I want to work with you over the next few weeks to try and get you to see that dyslexia is not a bad thing. When Mr. Povey told me, I was like, seriously? I'm a 40 year old head teacher. I know I look a lot younger than that, don't I, Jacob? Yeah, it's about the 20s. You'll go far, lad. And that's what I mean. <laughs> because you've got very high what they call emotional intelligence. So it's not a bad thing. This is a gift you've been given. I know. Seriously, you think I'm mad at the moment, I reckon. <laughs> this has been a gift for me, and I want to help you see it as a gift for you. Yes, reading might be a bit slower. Yes, writing might be a bit difficult. And Jacob, I won't lie to you, you're going to have to work damn hard on these two things. Damn hard on it. But the positives are incredible. So how does that make you feel? I'm better, like, knowing that, like, someone with dyslexia has gone all the way to the top. Well, kind of. What am I leaving behind the worry that everyone thinks that I'm different because I got this disability? I can't spell. I was on, like, this thing. I couldn't write it, and everyone started laughing, saying, hi, ah, you can't spell, but they didn't know, like, if I had something wrong with me, like, and it hurt me. It was, like, a disability, something what made me different, what I didn't like. But after I got speaking about it, it's not a disability. Dyslexia makes me think differently. Yeah, like, Einstein had it, load of famous people, like, you know. So now I think about it, I'm, I'm OK with it now. Now, to me, dyslexia is a superpower. I stood up in class and, like, I thought, I can do this, but then when I was up there, I was, like, shaking. It was absolutely scary. But then, like, I'm happy I got it done. Dyslexia, it's the something what I have been given by the gods. Let me tell you now, that was brave. And I'm so proud of you for standing up there and saying those words that you've learnt. To do that at your age is unbelievable. Well, now you've got a superpower as well, apparently. I know. Well, this... <laughs> Go away, tell her I'm just gonna go like secret identity, like go fly away. <sighs> See us. <laughs>